ego is sitting here also not afraid to be crushed ego and ego hangs on tightly afraid you will try to extinguish it it's not about extinguishing it it is about knowing the self what part of the self is out of control it has too much power it's helping way too fucking much it is like you are sitting in the middle of the room the truth you can say surrounded by many faces different parts of you came into being because you created them to keep you safe at one time or another everyone doing their job everyone trying to help each one of your sub personalities with the intent of self-preservation protecting the true you from too much stress too much shit don't tell me all at once For the way the brain is made up. It is like a short circuit. Stress. Fear. Its nature is to be happy. At all costs. It is not. Better good. When someone becomes an addict, it is the self doing cool, much too good of a job, <laughs> over helping, becoming a know it all, not understanding where its power really lies. The one in control of the power, not understanding its self you are trying to contain. The fight is within you, you against you. You may have a racist in you, you may have a lover in you. You may have a trickster in you. You may have a cheater in you. You may have a thief in you. You may have a humanitarian in you. You may have a Superman in you. And you, ha and you have a failure in you. Each personality helping it's best. It was created by you. Each and one to help you. To be shielded from the stress. They worked each one at one time. Then formed into being. You must deal with each one, not good and bad. But no, they were created to help you, the one in the middle of the room. The attic realized it was lowering your stress. So you said you can stay for a while. It did it again, it boasts and say, I did that. 
so I will be remembered. In that helping, each personality gains strength within the room. All the personalities make up you. If you find that you stole something, it is not good or bad. You kept yourself safe. You supplied your needs. You helped the man in the middle. It is not good or bad. What is the trouble within this learning process? You put a label on each. It is from within, you know, who has too much power to see. Look at each one and say, you are helping too much. No good or bad. It is you that decides. Is it in hampering your evolution? You may say I will put that in the bad contents. Then is your clue to get him reeled in. Get him to understand it is you. Thank you. I no need this kind of help anymore. Still love you. Thank you for your time. You are not being extinguished. I will add you to who I am. All one? No. One more important than the other. No one. Like mankind must learn, there is no one more important. All are vital. Can't wait till you see what is coming. God, we're so fucking... Mm. Yeah, searching for amusement in words. We're pumped! We're pumped! What is coming? Hey, Justin. Hey. Okay, I'm chilling. I'm chilling awake. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> Hey, Lori. Hey. I feel like I'm like tripping my brains out. That's what you feel like. Like you feel like you're tripping. That's awesome. Like I feel like I'm really tripping. The wheel's getting tricked all the time. I see a dragon <laughs> in your painting. <laughs> the fun will begin. <clears throat> when we really figure this thing out. And it started for me dialing in to these micro face expressions, body expressions, and listening to the internal talk that I thought was my own. 
I heard the whole room talking. But I couldn't separate it. And then I realized we're reading each other's mind whether we know it or not. Right. Every minute, every day. And each energy goes out to each person. It separates somehow. It goes, you know, this one, this one's going to, you know, I'm, I'm feeling un, un, uh, like unsafe. And if I'm sending that out, that person that I'm, I'm directing it to sends it right back. You are unsafe. That one kid talks about that, doesn't he? The, astro, the guy who talks about astro projecting. He's like, tell the tell That's what I learned about in court is it, we, the first, the first twitch of the eye, I felt actually like it was a... Because I felt... Because just because of the motion of the day took me to the trippy state. Mm -hmm. It was like I was already channeling or already... When you're that heightened, you're remembering everything when you're that heightened because we don't have those reoccurring patterns. So we can't really, we, you know, we're trying to get a reoccurring pattern, what court means and how, you know, what's the routine. Like we know, we know the routine going into jail. And we could yeah. see a newbie. And it was stressful, like the first, mm -hmm. like, few times. Yeah. But we didn't see new people newbies. Know, yeah. Remember when I'm like, new people always hold up the yeah, line. Yeah, I know, I remember. <laughs> yeah. New people always are holding up the line. But there wasn't a lot to say <clears throat> for to understand what we meant. How it's sitting in jail... I, after that incident where the man, you know, yelled at me. Mm -hmm. And then the whole room was talking to me. You know, across <laughs> the room, the guy said, he's got little man syndrome. <laughs> and I said, I say little penis syndrome. <laughs> you know, and then we laughed about that. I, I mouthed that. He went like this. And that was it. But we're, we are being psychic 24-7. Right. <clears throat> And I said to myself that send love to that uh, U.S. Marshal because we were throwing daggers. And like Jean said, oh, those, me and Joe call those uh, balls of, uh, you know, you know th he thinks they're balls of light. He said that's what me and Joe call them, like, because they could feel... It stresses them out. They're like two magicians. <clears throat> and we're magicians, and we are. We're fucking genies. We're reading each other's minds, and we think it's our internal thoughts. Constant. I mean, we're going to realize that we've all been, we all been reading each other's mind all along. And people that... Just how they dress and other people dress is an intimidation ploy. They know the human brain, but we don't know the human brain. We know it, we say, oh, it's psychology, whatever, but... I mean, that man, the prosecutor, seemed to be hyper alert and jump up to get the tissues. You know, but he was the one. But I already knew he was ready to get them because he was zoned in on me. And when, like, Lori's there, you hear, she turns her hearing, hearing like, I heard people say, by the elevator. <laughs> I'm like... I can hear everything. Everything. But everybody's doing that. Everybody's, like, almost, like, almost being blind. You know, and then how you would, you'd be hyper. Anywhere you don't have a repetitive patterns, too, where you don't know what's ahead, you're, like, tripping again. But you're also, this is where the mind records, presses record. When emotion is going on, when your feeling is going on, you're going to press record whatever you feel at the time. If you think you were a victim in that time of, of your life, your memory will press and record because emotions involved and intense in all in one day. So that's why you remember big parts in your life. You know, you remember a Christmas. You remember because all those things were on. When all those things are on, then the brain presses record. Like, keep that one memory 
forever. And those are the ones that you have no idea what they believe. Because they may have reported only, you know, like when one of your, these guys in the room were in charge and you were Miss Victim or Mr. You know, courageous. We've all been courageous. We've all been have times, you know. I mean, and somehow we think that failure is bad. And our brains add up failures and then we lose that, like, zest for life. How to look like a child. I mean, through a child's eyes. Because we're keeping track of every loss, every... Every personality, they get bigger. They're like, here's what I've been doing for you. you know, even when you, you feel like a loser and stuff, it's something about keeping the guy in the middle safe. You know, uh, maybe it'll make you retreat from the people that are hurting you or the thoughts that are hurting you or, or, or get validation for the things. You know, they, they were created f to help you. And we need validation, so... Get somebody that will listen to victim thinking all the time. Part of your personality and just feed that. you got to make friends with yourself. This is how you learn to love the self. Forgive all these guys. They're human. You are. Reading one another's minds. You have done it for so long, unconsciously. This is time for mankind to consciously make decisions, minute by minute, snapshot by snapshot. You will see great evidence. It will be fun. Oh, the collective wanting injustice to end. Everyone says there was injustice over here. Injustice way over there. But all know it is everywhere now. How did it creep in this far? Injustice everywhere, every day. Creation is speeding up. Fear not, you will be the teachers to help those, to help assist those not be afraid of themselves. You'll say, can this be used for evil? They say, if everyone knew they could read one another's minds, then evil intents would run rampant. This is mm, 100% not true. You would keep each other in check is that is what you do. Courts would be obsolete. So we know you're lying and you know you're lying. You will be on a tightening of these powers. You have all asked with intent. Who am I? Hmm. Tighten your seat belts. Hmm. Hmm. This is not a drill.
say I feel. My true feeling is. Whatever the story may be, say guilt is what I'm feeling today. I should do this, I should have done that. What it is, is, to simplify it, it is a tone that can only be matched with the tone of the same. It will search and search and search until it finds the tone. It will come back to you. You will say, it is your internal thoughts. It is how I feel. How can I change this? It is true. It is not necessary. Wow. The painting is moving with people over there. <laughs> Oh, that was fun. <laughs> the things that are going to be happening. See, I've been asking the universe. Okay. Well, if I'm a magician, they wouldn't be scared if they saw something weird. But like me, I would be. Like I realize it might be just one of my personalities that is really scared that's been bossing me around. Mm -hmm. Like stopping the group <laughs> from learning. And it is is when she would see things bump in the night. You keep these fears sometimes for thousands of lifetimes, working them out in different and various ways. You're just having fun. It is fun and necessary, you know. Without this strong intent, without these big feelings, without this trouble around the corner, you wanted yours to be an adventure, making sure you feel like this. Ah. Uh, I'll lose my mind that day. You'll get pissed off at me and we'll bump up. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> then we'll turn it up and cry and realize how we are all family. You are learning lessons. At once took 20 years to learn. In 20 minutes, you're off to the second lesson. Look at yourselves, your brilliance. Watching you find yourselves. This is the tip of the iceberg. She wanted to know she is conquering the personality in her room of fear. When you ask, this is what I want, but I don't know I'm afraid. This is what I want. But I don't know, I'm afraid. What if I'm afraid, then what? But I kinda wanna know. We've been here round and round for a while. Watching the learning process. She is at a point. She's come to terms with.
she has connected with the magicians. She's seen these guys before. It ain't no big deal. Here comes another different one. Don't say weird. Different. Back then, everyone saw shit. You guys are like in a baby cage. Like all the babies can't see the bad stuff. And little by little, we're trying to like, we're going to start stepping it up. We're going to start stepping it up. You've been asking, so, you know, we're going to start stepping it up. We're going to treat you, we're treating you with kid claws. We don't want to scare the shit out of you. You know, she just goes nuts. Power. <laughs> because you all are powerful. Not only her. The energy you admit is real. You are reading each other's minds. You guys, your brains are so... It's like tripping all the time. But here, you know what I think? Hmm. It's gonna be like this all the time. Everybody, like, hi Tom. And you could hear Tom saying, wow, is this what, this is cool. You know, we're gonna get to really all be doing this, but there are gonna be a lot of people. And all their people in all their rooms I'm trying to help. <laughs> but you guys are powerful. All you guys know. Before I'm on page, there's no more talk. how it has to survive. It has to be fearful. It has to it has to have bumping off of fear. And you could say, oh no, I'm not afraid that play bull eye bullshit. But maybe the minute you hear like, your neighbor got a bull eye <laughs> you know, your your blood will start to shake and you say, Oh my god, I hope I didn't okay, did I get in eye contact with that guy? Fuck. You know, it doesn't take anything to turn that on. But if you knew this shit, what I'm right, I'm where I'm at right now, mm -hmm. that we're all doing it now, we all know when somebody's like pissed off in the room. We all know the person that you are throwing daggers to, believe me, they know you are throwing, you know, it doesn't matter. I mean, that's where the CIA and the FBI are. That's one of the big training skills is do not allow your micro, you know, expressions surface. Because your brain is, a, you know, just like your hearing. You know, Lori can hear to the elevator. All you did is turn it up. You turned it up. Because you said, hey, you, you're in the corner over there. You are not going to miss a thing. You know, he said, oh, supersonic hearing, I'm here. You know? 
and you were saying, okay, we're together. That's what you're like. Listen to that. And they simultaneously listen to that. <laughs> and listen to her breathing. And you're directing it, you know, when you're in charge of you. <laughs> but you're still doing it un unaware. Because all these personalities in the room are there to help you. And recorder guy is saying, you know, it's like the guy, the memory is like the, the dictator girl. I mean, the dictation girl. As soon as all these things are on, she's got like my jobs here, you know, like record this and never get rid of it. This is like, these are the official rec records that will never go away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> these are the words. And, and the dynamic of saying it in front of another. There's some kind of energy that goes because we're all doing this together in this room. In any room. People know if the one guy in the room, you could have a thousand people in the room, they know all the people that are uh, timid, Bossy, you know, if we don't have enough to talk, we've already judged everybody. We know which one is uh, that one I'll stand by because they look, seem nice. <laughs> you know? I like that. Yeah. You'll stand by somebody and say, I don't know why I don't like them. Well, you guys were talking like that all, so why are you sitting there? And you say, no, no, I did. I don't want to be that kind of person. You know, you're a bigot. You've been a bigot. And you say, I don't think I ever did that. Well, you did all these things. 